Hello and welcome to another unboxing on my channel today with Build Divide Bride, uh, my dress up darling. And yeah, this is the, the first time, I think. I think that's the first time. Uh, I looked at my channel and I didn't saw another like full unboxing. I opened a few loose booster packs of Atelier Riser, but I don't think I ever opened the, the full booster box of Build Divide Bride. Uh, I, o I opened uh, Build Divide boxes, like from the origin show and anime, but uh, yeah, and the, the artworks were sometimes good and some were not so good. So, But card quality, as per usual, I think these are also made in Japan. Uh, card quality was nice, just some of the art styles or like some artworks, not my taste. And some of the... The foiling was a little bit weird, but yeah, really exciting for this release. We get a box topper and okay, it's non-foil. I was hoping we get a foil one. So just a regular Marin in her outfit. Sweet. But yeah, I, I also have some, but it's is for, for one of my 10 TCGs, 10 booster packs video, I guess. Uh, I have some Demon Slayer. <laughs> Like for a long time, I don't even remember when they have released, but yeah, I I wanted to keep them for for a special occasion or like a special unboxing. So let's see. Okay, that's maybe I'm misremembering, or this is just for the build divide for the regular. But I think the regular build divide cards had like texture, like smooth surface and. Uh, yeah, these are just, there's like nothing on it, no texture. Not sure if they changed it for Build Divide Bride. I, I haven't opened the recent uh, Fate, Fate sets or what else was recently released. Yeah, I think there was a Fate release. There was also a Nier Automata release. But yeah, haven't opened any of these. But yeah, in this set there are some very, very nice high rarity cards. Uh, this is like, yeah, where's my focus? I mean, this is like some kind of confetti foil, it feels like. Uh, it's just one layer above the whole artwork or the whole card. And yeah, they, I think they just used the, the anime, anime artwork. I don't think they have used manga art i don't know i will open on my second screen uh, the card gallery i don't think they have they probably have some original artwork for the signature cards for the high rarity cards another of these confetti foils um i think in the regular build divide they have two-sided cards oh they have two-sided cards for this release too i guess it's just uh yeah it plays the same as the regular build divide. I have to admit, I, I actually don't know. I, I will look this up after the video. <clears throat> or maybe let me know in the comments. But I wonder if it's possible to play with build divide bright against the regular build divide decks. Or do you just compete build divide bright against other build divide bright decks? I don't know. I, I need answers and I will try to find out. But yeah, so far we only get these, the same rarity of the confetti foil. Yeah, there's also a deck, but I haven't ordered it since I, yeah, I cannot order so much. Like I have pre-ordered the next Detective Conan set, set number, oh, okay, yeah, 10, 10 Marine, it's peak, peak character design. Uh, okay, another. Confetti foil and it's not two sided. Okay, there is a small dent in the bottom. Uh, don't know if it's showing on camera. But yeah, this is very, very simple foiling. Just in the background, not on the character. 
Okay, not so special so far. I uh, don't know if there is like any guaranteed hit ratio per box. Um, try to remember if they... Man, I have opened too much Union Arena, for example. Like, I'm, I'm really expecting to get uh, like textured foils or like a parallel in a box. But I guess you cannot expect it from other TCGs or other manufacturers. And yeah, I wonder, I, I didn't found any information or I haven't looked so deep into it, but I wonder if there is like a, a special card or rarity similar to the trial decks. Um, if there is like a signature card you can all, only get from the build divide pride deck. I really don't know because there is a, yeah, basically a, a sign card with this artwork and yeah who would have guessed this is the most expensive card but I wonder if this card is in the regular box or only in the in the deck. If anyone knows something about this please please let me know but I will also try to to find some more information. Okay. That's cute. So another Marine confetti and then we have okay this reminds me so much of the uh, it was the Nichi Sanji set of Vicross. Maybe you have seen my my Vicross unboxing, but I'm I'm a sucker for these uh, hard foils, and they have used this. I think this even looks better. If I weren't so lazy, I would like pause the unboxing and look for a for one of the Nichi Sanji foils. But to be honest, I have no idea. I I have just too many boxes with cards, and I can't find anything at this point anymore. I try to sort them a little bit between TCGs, but yeah, I'm I'm drowning in cards. It's like yeah, okay, not bad either. Another cosplay. Oh, that's really really cute. And the firework. It's a bit dark, of course, but and this foiling. I think this looks better. I don't know, I have to compare it uh, with the Nichi Sanji heart, but I think this looks even better. I love it. Just a, a bummer that it's not textured and maybe there's like a... Looks a little bit like there is a line going through here. You can see it in the hearts. It looks like there is not a not a scratch or like a a mark really it's more in the hollow foil maybe two separate layers looks like there's yeah there's like one line going through the foiling but still I, I I think it looks amazing so what else more cute marine cards okay now we get all the it was a little bit disappointing in the beginning with all the the confetti foil cards. It doesn't look so special, but now getting more more cute marines with the hearts. Let me know what do you think about this one. I, I think this looks very nice, very cute. But I'm still in need of a of a textured card and yeah. And in general a little bit information about the, the future of unboxings or like stuff I I want to start or I have to start saving money for for a trip to Japan <laughs> or I will just never never be able to visit this beautiful country but yeah I will reduce my my spending on cards a lot and yeah have to make some changes have to find a different job next year hallelujah I love capitalism but yeah some things are changing and I try to find a way. Uh, my plan is to still release at least one video of the 10 TCGs, 10 booster pack series. Uh, but besides like maybe I will try to open zillions of enemy X uh, regularly. Uh, I will try to open V cross English, but I can really not. I, I will try to at least get one box. 
in the past I I bought like four or five boxes of a set uh, of a V cross because I'm I really like English V cross like I actually like to play the game. Uh, but I yeah I really have to start saving money and try to find find a way to reduce my spending. So yeah, not a lot of unboxings planned like and especially in next year but i as i said i will try to at least from time to time there will be a, another video but yeah another very cute marine yeah i i i quite like the the card design of build divide at least compared to to other tcgs uh like rebirth for you i'm not a fan of rebirth for you card design but with the big artworks and i mean they they use the anime art so similar to white schwarz but the colors are just uh, a lot better okay and um yeah with with white schwarz i sometimes the issue is that it looks pretty faded or washed out i don't know if it's intended or uh, sometimes it's looking very, very bad. But of course, everyone in Y Schwartz mostly cares for the high rarity signatures, but yeah. So, okay, this was the box, no textured hit. Quite a little bit disappointing. Um, biggest hit was probably the super rare, but I really didn't like it. Uh, the one I showed in the beginning. Very simplistic foiling on yeah on this one the SR plus. I guess this is the biggest hit of the box or the maybe the guaranteed hit, but yeah, not a big fan of this one to be honest. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend uh, Union Arena man. Even the the super rares are now so good looking in Union Arena, and they have texture and everything so. Yeah, but if you if you hit big in these boxes, if you look at the card gallery, there are quite expensive cards in this set. Uh, but overall, not the best pull ratio. I just was unlucky. But yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next unboxing. Bye.